Nicole Kidman thought she found true love with Keith Urban. No one will ever love you as much as I do. It's very safe, it's very healing. But Keith wasn't as perfect as he seemed. I, I just went off the rails. I get high when it's sunny, high when it's yeah. raining. Three months into our marriage, we had to dig really deep. He checked into rehab. This is my third time in eight years. It was a huge hole in my life. There it was gonna always be fooled by the wrong thing. It's terrifying. It's always something at the core. It's never about what it appears to be about. Keith Urban reveals the secret pain from his past. It was something that I should have dealt with. I just wasn't ready. And at some point, you just have to say, do the work. And if you don't, then you live with it for the rest of your life. You either get this right now, or you are never, ever going to get it right. This is your one shot. Was it a fairy tale, or was it all in our heads? We, we met at this function, and I thought, gosh, I'd really like to meet her. Uh, she walked into the green room. I was like, oh, there she is, there she is. She glided across the room, like plucked up the courage to go and introduce myself, and she was very pleasant. I didn't know if I was bothering her. I just sort of said, well, nice to meet you, and I just walked away and a friend of mine said, I think she wanted to talk to you. And I'm like, this is me? Why would she want to talk to me, you know? And so I went back over and apologized. I thought she was way out of my league. Not in a million years did I think somebody like that would be interested in me at all. We just started talking and just really clicked. Keith thought Nicole was his dream girl, but her heart had been broken by the biggest movie star in the world. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise call it quits amid reports of Tom's infidelity with Penelope Cruz. I didn't know anything else. He was really my first major relationship, and, and that was all I knew. Was Nicole the love of your love? You're stepping over a line now. Tom Cruise dating Penelope just months after the split from Nicole. He's in a lot of pain, and his whole life collapses around you. It's very difficult to let anybody else in. But Keith fell for Nicole just as her broken heart was healing. We were sitting in this park bench, and I said, how's your heart? She said, it's open. It was not only beautiful because it said so much about her, but it instantly made me ask myself, is my heart open? open. Is it really open? He did everything to earn Nicole's trust. When you went on tour, you'd, you'd leave a, a letter for every night you were away. And Nicole Mary, I continue to be brought to my knees by this love of ours, knowing that no one has ever or will ever love you as much as I do. On the surface, he seemed like the perfect man, but he was hiding a dark secret. I was struggling a lot. Addiction. What was the substance? Everything. Alcohol, cocaine predominantly. Your life was hugely successful. You'd, you'd won a Grammy, you just got married. And I had nothing to do with life being good or bad. It was something that I, I should have dealt with. I just wasn't ready. Keith was scared to open up, putting his relationship on the line. It's like walking up against a wall, and it didn't occur to me to go around it. I just kept, you know, hitting it. The truth is I was in such a place of denial. I thought, I can do all the work for him. I can make him better. And at some point, you just have to say, I love you, and I'm here when you decide to do the work. And if you don't, then... That's it. Keith thought he was about to lose the love of his life. But instead, Nicole showed him what he was missing. Three months into our marriage, we had to dig really deep. And she made a decision to turn around and initiate this intervention. It was done in such a way, and the, the, the love in that room at that moment was just, just right. I'd never experienced anything like that. She really should have just walked. It's always something at the core. Mm -hmm. It's never about what it appears to be about. Ultimately, for me, it's love. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that I think what I was missing in my life, love for myself. I just know struggling. That's all I've ever known. Keith Urban reveals the secret pain from his past. He says, quote, my dad was an alcoholic. I don't recall him ever telling me he loved me. I was very insecure. I got to that crossroads. I really want to be courageous and adventurous. Let's take the road less traveled. Keith stopped hiding his addiction and reached out for help. I was like, put the cuffs on, let's go. You actually canceled a, an album launch and a promotional tour. And yeah. You booked into rehab. And it was literally like, you either get this right now or you are never, ever going to get it right. This is your one shot. Was it hard to stay clean with this? Not this time. This, this time. is my third time in eight years. Uh -huh. You can't do this for somebody. I couldn't do this just for her. Right. He's a fighter. He's choosing to take care of himself, walk the walk, not just talk the talk. By opening up, Keith finally let love in, and his relationship with Nicole was stronger than ever. He's been my rock. And Keith Urban, 
When my cheek is against yours, everything melts away. And that is love. I've learned a lot from Nick about intimacy, really. That's the one big thing I was lacking in my life until I met her. Transparency and honesty, mm. and absolutely. I'm very grateful for where I am now. It's a different life. It's the one I was hoping I could figure out how to live. We live by the mantra that we have nothing to hide and everything to protect. There is supposed to be a time in all of our lives where we sort of go, this is what I was working towards. It's okay to say this is pretty damn good right here.